So earlier in the night, Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family attacked John Cena and uh, talked about it in the other video. He did get injured. Uh, it does not look like a work. You know, you saw Eric Rowan kind of grab his knee as he fell forward, so it's almost like the knee kind of bent backwards is what it looked like when it actually happened. But um, hopefully, like I said, he hopefully doesn't miss WrestleMania. Uh, but knowing Super Cena, <laughs> Cena's, uh, they say he's a resilient guy. And being the resilient guy that he is, I'm sure he'll be there next week. I'm sure it's nothing serious. I remember he had an eye injury. Like, everyone forgot about that literally like two weeks, or sorry, two days after it happened. Um, but doesn't, it's wear and tear. You know, when a guy, you know, he talked about it on the Steve Austin podcast that he is on the road this many days of, out of the year. This is how many house shows he does. And Stone Cold said himself, like, that's not an easy thing to do. And Cena's not a spring chicken anymore. He's getting up there in age. I know he's only 35 or 36. But uh, being on the road for 10 or 12 years, it's not uh, it's not an easy thing. And now it's where it's kind of <laughs> kind of hurts. You know, it kind of sucks really because you know it's so close to WrestleMania. But like I said, it's probably not going to be to the point where he's going to leave. I know he probably can't walk, but you know the tricep thing. He had literally a ball sticking out of his elbow. And he still wrestled a great match with Daniel Bryan. So when it comes to Cena, injured or not, I'm sure he's going to be there. And uh, that just shows the resilience of the guy and uh, how much he cares for wrestling. Because there's a lot of people who, you know, get a little twisted, let's just say dislocated finger, and they want to stop the match. Sin Cara, Sin Cara. But other than that, it's, uh, that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video.